वेलकम टू द मेंटेनेंस वीडियो ऑफ बी एक्स सीरीज बैर पंप टूल्स रिक्वायर्ड डिसम्बली ऑफ वाल प्लग एंड वाल असेंबली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्टार्ट डिसमेंटलिंग विथ वाल असेंबली by the use of a box spanner remove valve plug take valve puller and screw it with the valve then pull out the valve from the manifold housing start disassembly of the valve by removing copper washer from top of the valve after that take allen key and place it into the middle hole of the valve then take a 5 mm bolt and screw it on the upside of the valve and gently tighten it using a spanner remove valve cage spring and valve plate take out the allen key from the valve take hollow rod and place valve assembly in such a manner that valve cage remains upward take an 8 mm hex bolt and place it into the valve cage push the body with the help of a rubber hammer remove the valve seat spring and valve plate remove back ring and o ring from valve seat with the help of a pick remove back rings and o rings with the help of a pick inspection of valve assembly parts check copper washer for damage and pitting inspect valve cage for damage and pitting check spring for proper stiffness and damage look valve plate for damage and pitting check spring for proper stiffness and damage inspect valve plate for damage and pitting check back ring and o ring for looseness and thickness look valve seat for damage and pitting inspect 
the back ring for damage. Check valve cage for damage and pitting. Check back ring and o-ring for damage. Reassembly of valve assembly. First of all, place the back ring in its position of valve cage. Then, O ring and back ring in their position. After that, insert spring and valve plate from the bottom side of valve cage. Place valve seat on valve cage in such a manner that flat surface of it will remain outside. Then, tight valve seat into valve cage using a rubber hammer. Then, place the curved surface valve plate on top of the valve cage. Place spring on the valve plate. Install valve cage and remove 5 mm bolt. Push the valve cage using a rubber hammer and tighten it. Place copper washer on its position. Fix back ring and o-ring on its position. With the help of a pick, remove back ring and o-ring from valve plug. Check O-ring for looseness and thickness. Look back ring for looseness and thickness. Check valve plug for thread damage and pitting. Now place back ring and O-ring on its position of the valve plug. Then install valve plug with the help of box spanner. Disassembly of the manifold housing and plunger. Now start the disassembly of manifold housing. Take Allen key socket and loose cap screws in a cross manner. Remove all cap screws with the help of Allen key.
gently push manifold housing by rubber hammer and separate manifold housing from a crankcase. Take ring spanner to remove hex bolt and take out plunger. Rotate the shaft and take out the copper spacer washer manually. Now, using a screwdriver and rubber hammer, remove oil seal from crankcase. Now, remove HT hex bolt and bounded seal for plunger from the body of plunger. Inspection of plunger and manifold housing parts. Check hex bolt for thread damage and pitting. Check bonded seal for plunger for damage and pitting. Check ceramic plunger for damage and scratches. Now place bonded seal for plunger into hex bolt. Place hex bolt into the ceramic plunger. Take pressure ring puller and insert it into the pressure ring. Take spanner and tighten the nut of the pressure ring puller. Then pull out the pressure ring puller and take out the pressure ring from the manifold housing. Remove palm gasket of U-seal 1. Again, with the help of pressure ring puller, pull out the intermed ring. With the help of a pick, remove PTFE gasket of U-seal 2. Then, using pick, remove seal and palm gasket of U-seal 2 from manifold housing. Remove O-ring from pressure ring using a pick. Remove seal and PTFE gasket of U-seal 1 from pressure ring with the help of a pick. Check the ID and surface of the manifold for dance damage and pitting. Look, seal of U-seal 2 for any damage. Check surface of PTFE gasket of U-seal 2 for anywhere or damage. Inspect palm gasket of U-seal 1 for damage. Check the palm gasket of U-seal 2 for damage.
look PTFE gasket of UCL1 for anywhere or damage. Inspect the seal of UCL1 for any damage. Check O-ring for damage. Check flat surface and ID off in termed ring for damage or pitting. Inspect ID, face and periphery of pressure ring for any damage or pitting. Reassembly of the manifold housing and plunger. Place palm gasket of U seal 2 facing flat surface downward into manifold housing. Install seal of U seal 2 in a such a manner that flat surface of it will remain upward. After that, place the PTFE gasket of U seal 2 on the seal. Take intermed ring and place it on the U seal 2 in such a way that its flat surface will face upward. Take pressure ring and firstly install PTFE gasket on its position. Install seal of U seal 1 into pressure ring facing flat surface downward. Place the O-ring on its position of pressure ring and apply grease on it. Place palm gasket of U-seal 1 on a seal. Now place pressure ring facing U-seal 1 towards to the intermed ring. Press pressure ring manually. Rotate the shaft and install a new oil seal in the crankcase. Make sure that the flat surface will face outward. Take oil seal pusher and hammer to push oil seal. Place copper washer on its position. Install plunger and tight hex bolt properly with the help of allen key socket and ratchet wrench. Rotate the shaft, assemble manifold housing to the crankcase manually. Now Diagonally install HT cap screws. Tight cap screws with the help of Allen key in a diagonal way. Tight cap screws with the help of allen key socket in a diagonal way. At the end, check pump shaft working properly or not. Take spanner and rotate the shaft clockwise and anti-clockwise.